Walking on two legs marked a huge change for our species. In fact, being almost exclusively bipedal makes us unique among our primate cousins. The question is, how did our ancestors start spending so much time on two legs? A fossil found in Ethiopia revolutionized our understanding of this transition. I'm in Berkeley, California to meet Tim White, one of the leaders of the team that discovered Ardipithecus romitus, Ardi. The team was digging in the Afar region in Ethiopia. Then, in 1994, a graduate student named Johannes Haley Selassie found a fragment of hand bone in 4.4 million year old rock. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he picked up and said, this looks like a hominid. So we scraped and brushed that surface and we found some of these hominid hand and foot bones in place. And so we focused on that little hill. This was a hugely significant find, a new species of hominid from a time when scientists think our ancestors were becoming bipedal. It took experts about 15 years to fully piece her together. Biologist Owen Lovejoy has been figuring out how Artie might have moved. The critical thing in bipedality is the structure of the pelvis. The pelvis was crushed during fossilization. From its reconstructed form, the team was able to deduce how Artie likely moved. This is a plastic structure that's produced by a three-dimensional printer. Cool. The top part of Artie's pelvis looks more human. The hip bone is short and broad, a key indicator of bipedalism. But the lower half is much longer than a human pelvis, more useful for climbing. It suggests that Artie was a creature in transition. She could walk on two legs, but not as well as you and I. Her feet support this idea. This thing had full grasping ability. So she has so, a grasping foot that can walk? Yes. It was a mosaic of anatomy that had never been encountered before. So while not as nimble on two feet as we are, Artie was a much better climber. But it wasn't just her body that came as a surprise. It was also her environment. The team collected around 150,000 additional fossils. Wherever they found Ardipithecus bones, they found woodland creatures, parrots, monkeys, and peacocks, as well as woodland plants. It was a woodland, not an open savanna setting. Now that's a surprise. These are woodland animals. That runs counter to so much of it what runs counter all the way expect. back to the 1800s. So now we have a new detailed picture of how our ancestors made the transition to bipedalism. Artie was a woodland creature. Small, just under four foot tall. She was a good climber, using all fours when in the trees. But she walked upright when on the ground. Our ancestors started walking on two legs while still living in the woods. Artie suggests that by 4.4 million years ago, the transition to walking on two legs was already well on its way. <laughs>